Good morning, everyone. It's Joker, and today we are taking a break from the Space Minimum World Tour. Just a small break, though, because it's not Space Minimum, it's Fire Minimum. We are here to use the brand new fire units in the Earth Conquest stage. We are going to try and clear it on Master, something I have not done yet. So we have new Fire Rimuru, very good. He does like three things on his protection skill. He lowers enemy fire resistance, he buffs your blue damage, and he also gives you points, like 25 points uh, every time. Let me check that. 24% fire resistance down, divine protection, oh, gauge increase by 20, and then skill cost limit by 25. So I had a few things mixed up there. He seems to be pretty good. This will be my first time using him in Conquest, so we'll see how he does. And then we have the Fire Millen, who has, right now, she has an 88% critical chance up for the entire team. And then her skill 2 is she changes one orb from green to blue, and she increases blue damage. It's fine, whatever. We have my maxed out Benimaru, who is going to be the DPS on this team until we need to ult, and then that's going to be Millen. He... He buffs his own damage by 27%, and everyone's orange gauge damage, I mean, orange skill damage, that's pretty good. People undersell this Benny Mario a lot, and I'm here to tell you, stop that. Now, interesting team comp here, because Fire Rimuru also leads Wind. And so we have Wind Millen here to buff ultimates, we have Valentine here to heal and orb change, and we have Space Rimuru just to buff damage, because I'm pretty sure this boss is like the Orc of Disaster Conquest, and you have to kill him by turn 6, or he's gonna nuke the crap out of you. So we're here to buff, and hopefully we can get enough where we can um, raise our skill points high enough where we can do both the damage buff, the ult buff, and the crit buff. We're gonna find out. Let's try. If this video isn't too long, I might switch the team out and try using Ifrit as well, and just to see how different they play, and you know, if you need Fire Rimuru if you already have Ifrit. Maybe that's a part two, maybe that's in this video. It kind of depends on how this battle goes. Uh, let's space it, it's strong against, right? Forget the color wheel. Yeah, okay, so no one's fine up there. Um, well, I guess that's a pretty easy call, then. So I've used Millen and Rimuru a bit. Not a lot, but a bit, because I've been doing Space Millen showcases and stuff. I think they're pretty good. As someone who doesn't have Shizu for, you know, single target DPS, pulling Millen was great. I need, you know, that single target damage to come in to effect in order to kill. Looks like we took we did some okay damage on that what level four. So she can no, I don't want to change the blue because those are nerfed for two turns. Okay. I'm gonna clear the hand though and make some room. Eh, that wasn't as good damage. Oh, we're all stunned. That's uh, that's not good. Is it the free to play Shuna cleanses poison, I think. Which I have not leveled her up yet. I haven't attempted her events at all. I needed to parallel process all day to get more awakening stones for everyone. I ran out. Okay. The blues won't be nerfed next time. So Increase our skill points, lower his fire resistance, blue gauge increase as well. But we have a whole hand of fire melon, so I mean, I will accept that. I think this will get our all. Oh, yeah, excellent. And it'll max us out on points. So I need let's see, 55, 55 is 110, it's another 55 is 1. 
165. So I need 165 points if I want to unleash all three. I don't know if we're going to get there. I'm going to hold on to this hole. At the very least, we could unleash two of the buffs. Getting another stun. Oh no, it's turn six. Isn't it gonna nuke me here? Oh, well, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? We didn't get Betty Mars all night. Single target. Huh. Well, oh, it healed up too. Okay, we'll just uh. He stuns right before he super. Or he does all that. That's good to know. Hmm. We're not gonna kill him here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset. We're gonna come back. Never mind. We're we're gonna boost anyway, just to see how much damage we do, just for funsies, and then we'll actually come back for a real run. So I've I've boosted 40% damage with Beamru, 70% alt damage with Millum, and then the 27% and the well, I guess it doesn't really matter because we did the Beamru. Oh well, we're full sending. 21,000 is pretty good for an AoE. And then the wind, 15,000. I mean, if we had crit resist, all right, he's space. Yeah, we're all dead. All right, now, now we'll be back. Okay, we're back. Uh, I wouldn't call this run, you know, great by any means, but at least we avoided the stun last turn. Obviously, he, feel, he healed back up, so I don't think we're going to be able to kill him outright, even with these two AoEs. But we have enough points to at least boost damage with Rimuru, and then we can bring in Windmillum and get her ult buff as well. Obviously, we have Benny Maru who helped us avoid the stun, but he's dead now. He was a worthy sacrifice, just for the showcase. You out, and then we're going to boost that damage. All right. So how much damage are we gonna do here? Let's send Benny Mario out. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So we've got the double damage boost, and we do twenty-one thousand. Yeah, that was a decent amount of health bar. And Millen's single target Shoryuken. Does... 21,000. You're bored. Okay. And there we go. So... Huh. I think I have to do another run, just to see if I get some really good RNG and I can get points and alts, because that, that entire round gave me some shit cards. We'll be back again. Okay. Okay. I have been here for a long time now. And I'm tired of using this team. At least on this conquest stage. It sounds awful. I'm I'm so bitter right now. Like, I feel like this team should be good. But this boss fight, nerfing blues so it stops me from getting Rimuru's protection skill. It's giving me shit cards. 
and there are two turns in this fucking thing where he stuns you, and so, like, I, you can't use the stun twice, or you're just not going to have enough points for anything with Benny Mario. And Benny Mario's not even good on this team, because he's not buffed by the leader skill. So, he's really not an optimal usage here. But there are no other fire units that'll, you know, keep you from not getting stunned, and you just had to bank on your 10% from your ring. And by turn 6, he's going to hit one of you, and then turn 7, he kills all of you. And I just feel like you need at least one more turn. Like, if he didn't stun once and I didn't have to worry about it, maybe. Sometimes I get lucky and I still end up with this. I still end up with one ult and not enough points. And after turn 6, he heals himself back up to full, and there's no way I can kill him in one turn. So, this, this team for this specific stage... This ain't it. We're trying something else. Okay, we're gonna try a different team comp now. We're back in it. We have switched. We have taken out Valentine, because I don't need a healer, because it's either you kill in six turns or you don't kill in six turns, and that's just the way it is on this stage. So I don't need a healer. I replaced her with Gazel Dorgo for DPS, and I've switched our leader to Ifrit. Because I feel like Rimuru, he does a lot, and I cannot deny that. You know, he does three different effects, he really helps you out. However, this particular stage is all about killing quickly. So, with Ifrit buffing fire damage and giving you a 30% to your alt gauge when you activate him, that allows us to alt rush with all three of these units. And I think that even though we can't do a double buff, I think with that extra fire boost damage, us rushing ults, I think we can actually do this. So I'm not sure if Rimuru is the right fire leader for this stage, and we're going to try it out. We'll do a full run, we'll stay with it. This video is probably going to be long because I'm going to do my first attempt and then my rage quit and then now this. We'll see. He's all gazzle and he's almost got his ult now. I mean, that's... Okay, so we got a whole bunch of green and a counter. Well, that's just extra damage. Incoming stun attack. So we're going to swap out Gazel now, because he has no cards. And we're going to bring in Benny Mario. And we're going to avoid that first stun. And then we're going to send these greens. We have enough to get Ifrit already. So we're going to use that just so we can buff, we're going to swap out Benny Mario, swap in Gazel Dwargo again, that way we can automatically get his ultimate, boost fire attack for two turns, which is great, which is great, because that just, that means that we have some capabilities after that. Benny Mario's almost got his ult, he'll probably have it here, actually, yeah. I mean, we're only on turn 3, and we already have 2 ults. This is going already so much better. And we've got a lot of blues. Can we change that green to blue? Yeah, we can. Okay. So we will do that. Um, you know, I really thought that would give us a lot more meter. Doing 4 of those. I really... Hmm... Hold on. So we've boosted our damage already. We've boosted our fire damage. Maybe... Yeah, since we have a full hand. Okay, we're gonna buff with Milim and get that 88% crit rate. We've got the fire boost from Ifrit. We've got two ults. We have a full hand. This should do very good damage. And which, you know, hoping that it's crits. And we have another Ifrit gauge after that. So next turn we can get Milam's attack. We won't have enough points for another buff, though. So, Gazel, how much are you going to do here? Crit for 5,000. It's not great. Benny Maru. 
crit for 12,000. He's down to half HP. Crit, crit, crit. And no crit there. Hopefully this is a crit. Okay, so we're gonna get another stun coming. Hmm. We're gonna pop E3. Okay, that gets us Milim's ult next turn. Oh, really? I kind of thought if we got it, that would uh, turn one of her skills into the ult, but that is that is good to know. Let's do this. Maybe we can get Betty Martin. No, not quite. That's unfortunate. Alright, only Benny Mario is stunned, which is actually okay, because he doesn't have an alt coming. So now I think... Oh, it isn't for because I can't swap him out. I guess we're going to swap in Windmillum. Right? Is that, the, is that the right play? Just to see if we can nuke him down now? I think so. We're going to boost our damage right there. We've got our fire attack boost still. Don't have the crit anymore. We're going to have to send and we're going to have to pray a little bit that this does enough damage right here. We will watch this. I think if we get lucky, we might be able to kill here. And if that happens, that will negate the past like 10 runs that I've done. Uh, it's not going to be enough. It's going to be real close. But he's going to heal. He's going to heal right there. And no one's dead. Okay, we are back. I don't remember what my intro was with the lad. I don't know if I did an intro for this team. Maybe I did. I can't remember at this point. There have been so many runs. But we're finally at, you know, a decent point. So we've got a stun attack coming. And I'm going to change... No, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to change a green to... So, we have two ults. Gazzledor goes close. We're close to another E3 cage. We're going to get stunned here. So we're going to do... We don't have any Gazzle cards, though. What will get us... Those? I think that'll get us yeah, closest to... If I use these, I'll probably make those back. So let's do this. Let's dodge the stun. Have E3. We're going to put Gazzle up. And we're going to. Actually, no, I think we're going to put Millum up. And we're going to buff up with her ult. And we're going to increase Benny Mario's damage and orange damage. Okay. We still have Efreet's original fire buff. We've now buffed our ultimates for 70% damage. 
I buff Benny Mario's basic damage by 27%, plus the Soul of Secrets damage, and we're gonna send Hard right here. And we're gonna see how much damage this does. And we'll have Efreet next turn, which means that if someone dies, Gazel's gonna come in and we can... No, because that won't give him his ult, because we learned that earlier. Alright, we're gonna see how much damage this does. This is a long video. You're gonna have to deal with it. Um, 22,000. Okay. I think this will do about 21. 15. That's not good enough. Did he guard that? Oh, we finished him! star huh I, I, well, I'm, I'm honestly surprised I didn't think we were gonna kill I thought we were gonna be there with like one hit left and then he's gonna heal back half his damn HP well cool call me surprised okay so here was the team it really was just changing out Efreet for Rimuru. So, if you need to maximize ult rush and damage, Efreet's gonna be your man. Demon. Spirit. Whatever. He's gonna be your leader. If you are looking for a longer event that you don't have a time crunch, you're not being stunned like half of the time, and you can afford to make battles last longer than six turns, then Rimuru will probably help you out because he's bu he's passively he's buffing your blue damage or blue gauge, lowering their fire defense, and uh, increasing your skill cost, which means that you can get to a point where you can unleash a few nukes. But if you need to nuke quickly, it looks like E Freight is still going to be your main choice. So at the end of the day, after oh I think. 20 runs on this, like 15 with the Rimuru team, and then 5 with the Ifrit team. Honestly, if you have Ifrit, I don't, I don't think you need to summon for, uh, I don't think you need to summon for Rimuru. And if you have Shizu, I don't think you need to summon for Milan. Granted, that's if you have Benny Mario. If you don't have Benny Mario and you don't have Shizu, and you don't have Ifrit, then your fire team, you don't have a fire team. And then at that point, yeah, maybe you should hold on to your crystals and wait and see what else is coming along the horizon instead of trying to summon and build a team now. Um, but if you have a few pieces, then maybe... Let me know in the comments what you guys think. My head, I'm, I'm so done with this stage. Thank God we three started it, so I don't have to do it again. Uh, let me know in the comments. Take it easy, guys. I'll see you later.